is case number one, two voice, 712 words on the subject of auto accidents. And we will be beginning this drill very shortly. But you came to write. I came to read. Ready? Let's begin. Question, state your name, please. Answer, Thomas Norwood, Jr. Question, how old are you? Answer, 23. Question, and you have always lived at that address? Answer, last 15 years. Question, and whom, you live with whom? Answer, my mother and dad. Question, now then, tell the court, were you also arrested and convicted of automobile theft in the past? Answer, yes. Question, when? Answer, August of 1991. Question, you serve time? Answer, 20 months. Question, where? Answer, reformatory. Question, where? Answer, reformatory at St. Charles. Question, were you placed on parole after 20 months? Answer, yes, sir. Question, and then you returned home to your mother and dad? Answer, yes, sir. Question, did you go to work after that? Answer, yes, sir. Question, and for whom did you work? Answer, the Burnside store. Question, and how long did you work there? Answer, about a month and a half. Question, and did you report to Mr. Anderson over at the Department of Public Welfare during this time? Answer, yes, sir. Question, and I'll ask you, whether or not you got a job after that? Answer, yes, sir. He said that I could get another job. Question, where was your next employment? Answer, General Auto and Tire Store. Question, how long did you work there? Answer, about a month until I got into this. Question, until you were arrested? Answer, that's right. Question, now on this particular day, did you work that day? Answer, that's right. Question, do you know what day of the week that was? Answer, it was on a Wednesday. Question, did you eat at home that night? Answer, yes, sir. Question, did you go out after dinner? Answer, yes, sir. Question, where did you go? Answer, after dinner, about 7 o'clock, I left the house. Question, where did you go? Answer, uptown. Question, do you mean downtown here? Answer, yes. Question, and did you make any stop? Answer, a couple of places. Question, and I will ask you whether or not later on you were in the vicinity of Washington and Harper Street Answer, I was. Question, what did you do in that neighborhood? Answer, went into Curly's on Harper. Question, what kind of an establishment is that? Answer, tavern. Question, sell hot dogs and hamburgers? Answer, no answer. Question, did you have anything to drink there? Answer, beer. Question, what time did you leave this Curly's place? Answer, just about 10 o'clock. Question, that was on the 13th? Answer, yes, sir. Question, did you meet anyone in an automobile in front of Curly? Answer, yes, sir. Question, do you know who they are? Can you tell the name? Answer, I know one of them was Bob. Question, do you know his last name? Answer, no, sir. Question. Did you have any conversation with them? Answer, they asked me where I was going. Question, did you get into their car? Answer, yes. Question, what kind of a car was it? Answer, black Chevy Coupe. Question, who was operating that automobile? Answer, Bob. Question, and where did you go? Answer, to a roller rink. Question, where is that located? Answer, right off Marshall Street. Question, did you meet anyone there? 
answered, these two boys and a couple of girls. Question, and then what occurred? Answer, they wanted to take them home. Question, did you? Answer, we all went down to a place called the hub and had something to eat. Question, and when you left there, where did you go? Answer, to Marty's drive-in. Question, and what happened there? Answer, nothing, but after that, he saw this car involved in an accident. Question, did you operate that automobile that evening? Answer, no, sir. Question, who did operate your vehicle? The one that you were riding in. Answer, Bob. Question, do you know whose automobile that was? Answer, no, sir. Question, and he was in the automobile when you first got into it? Answer, yes, sir. Question, the accident you mentioned, did that involve the car that you were in? Answer, yes. Question, were you injured? Answer, broke my nose. I was knocked out. Question, you were knocked out, but you know you weren't driving the automobile up to that time? Answer positively. Question, can you tell the court what happened after that? Answer, next thing I knew, I was waking in jail the next morning. Question, and you were taken to the hospital? Answer, yes, sir. I was taken to the hospital, but I don't remember anything. Question, Will, well, did you discover you were in the hospital after this accident? Answer, yes, sir. Question, well, at the time of the accident, do you remember having a conversation with anyone? Answer, no, sir. Question, do you remember any officers there in uniform? Do you remember being taken to the hospital? Answer, no, sir. Question, you don't know whether you were taken in an ambulance or how? Answer, I don't know. Question, when you were taken to the police station, was it evening or daytime? Answer, I don't remember that either, sir. Question, don't you know, well, you got to the police station. Did you have a conversation with an officer down there? Answer, Dan Jackson. Question, and did he ask you about the accident? Answer, yes.